Hello, everybody. George, down George's Kentucky Workshop. Here I come. Anyhow, bought myself a brand new little toy yesterday. A little pre-birthday present. The Harbor Freight Mini Tire Changer. Eddie in New Hampshire. Bob Drake here in Paducah. I should have bought one of these 20 years ago. If it was $150, I should have bought one 20 years ago. I just did this five minutes ago out of the box just to try it. I got an old, it, this comes with an adapter plate to bolt down to a bench. I don't want to tie up the bench space by leaving that on the bench. I just put this in my six inch vise. I got an old nasty tire here. This tire is about 30 years old. It's hard, it's dry rotted, it's nasty. You put it in, you put a couple of adapters down on it, you spin the little whoopity doo down, that's for the bead breaker and all that. Anyhow, comes with this fancy little pry bar. You take this little ball end here, stick the ball end in under the bead, you pull the thing back, Till it lays flat. Simple as that. You grab a hold of it, watch this one hand. There you go. If you're going to put a tube in this thing, how much more room do you need than that? Perfect. I, you always use a little bit of lube. Some people use soapy water and all this stuff here. I don't keep soapy water around. The only time I use so so uh, soapy water is if I'm looking for a leak on a tire. Other than that, I don't keep it around the shop. I always have PB Blaster around. Give that a quick little spray of PB Blaster. Perfect. I like PB Blaster. Anyhow, you got your brand new tube in. People, everybody thinks they know how to put an inner tube in. Most people don't. You know, you got a 50% chance of putting an inner tube in the right way. I wasn't going to talk about this, but I'm going to have to download this tonight because it's going to be about a five-minute video. When you have an inner tube, and let's say on your rim, the valve stem, the hole for the valve stem is up. When you have an inner tube, an inner tube always has... A painted ring around it. It might be red, it may be blue or whatever, but that ring, that painted ring is going to be on one, it's a ring, it's a stripe going around the inner tube. It's, it's going to be on one side. Now if your rim has a hole in it for the valve stem and it's facing up, you want to put that ring, that colored ring on that tube down. If you don't, the valve, the, the valve stem on your inner tube is going to be eaten up. I know people are going to go, well, I've done it. I've never had any trouble. Well, go ahead. Do it your way. The right way is to put that ring, that colored ring that's on the inner tube, away from the hole on the bottom side. That's the right way. Because if you blow an inner tube up, you take the tube out, you undo it, you put some air in it, you blow it up, you're going to notice that that valve stem is off-centered. Yes, it is. All valve stems are off-centered. That's to fit the rim. And if you turn it over, you're going to notice, oh, yeah, there's a colored ring. That's the part that should be on the opposite side of the hole. So put the ring on the bottom side. You'll be good. But anyhow, we're not doing an inner tube. Anyhow, we're going to put this tire back on the rim. Got a little whoopie de doo here, a little flat spot. You put that down here, you get the tire down, you put this thing on here, you gotta push down on the tire, and you got to pull this thing around. There it is. This isn't a new tire. My god, if this was a new tire, it would have jumped on. It's an old, nasty, Dicko tire. So, you'd air it up, bingo, you're in good shape. 
I'm going to be 62 at the end of the month. My hands and my knees are not as strong as they used to be. Here's a great big horsefly sitting on top of the camera. Western Kentucky. This is great. This is a super investment. I'm kicking myself in the rear end because I didn't buy one of these things 20 years ago. I'd always seen them advertised and went, oh yeah, I got a couple of tie irons, I got a couple of tire spoons. I got a, I got a friend of mine, very dear friend of mine, Bob Drake, good guy. He was telling me that he's got two great big favorite screwdrivers for mount these things. Bob, this video is for you. My buddy Eddie up there in Raymond, New Hampshire, Eddie, buy one of these things. That's it, everybody. Long video. I'm up to you six minutes. This will take me all night to upload this. You'll see this Friday morning sometime. Okay, everybody. Be a proud American. Be safe. Thank you for subscribing. American flag. We're off today. That's it. Thank you.